They're between us and my own. Oh, this game looks so beautiful. What's up, guys? Today, I have another banger video. And I'm doing something which I didn't do in a very long time. And that is showcasing my own account. The last one was like three months ago. I was asking my guild yesterday what type of video I should do. And one of my guildmates recommended uh, me to do a account showcase since this was very, very long overdue. And also shout out to Silchi for that idea because of his uh, account progression video that basically gave me the idea to make one myself because it's just so long since i last did one we reached level three yesterday very proud of my guild everybody's pushing their shit everybody's doing the guild missions doing the guild boss and now since we are level three right now we're now able to buy the fragments for the spear and i think by sunday maybe since the weekly is reset we should be able to reach level four and to get the new items but we are we are really pushing and we currently have two spots available in the guild if you're interested to join discord link in the description down below apply also that marble released that developers note giving more insight to what kind of things they're playing they also said what they want to improve with the guild content they say guild skill will be added i'm curious what it is is it like a skill we can use additionally when we go into battle or is it those little buffs which display level 1 right now that we can upgrade? Or the guild leader can update. Then when challenging the guild boss, additional attempts will be added after registering for two times. Yeah, this is good because um, <laughs> when the guild boss came out, I registered both my attempts. So I had no chance to test different things. By the way, guys, I have one specific thing in my mind. Nobody tested yet so far. I will test it. And if it enhances the experience of the current strats, I will make an additional video but this will change a lot a lot a lot when it comes to guild boss but stay tuned for that one um, a, a feature will be added to search for other guilds which is good because we kind of want to know who, who do we uh, fight or who are we up against and the buff display will be optimized okay the display of guild master and vice guild master will be improved guild creation interface will be improved and guild notice will be amended and lobby display will be improved yeah there's still a key uh, feature missing for me as a guild master and the key feature for me is message system give me the option to message players in game to tell them yo do your missions do your weeklies do your guild boss whatever it might be give me the option to message people in game this is a feature that is desperately needed and i think for other people who are creating guilds it is a desperately needed Feature. Now it's a long time past since I did uh, a account progression video. The last time we will just I will just do it freestyle. I just show you my Jin Wu right now. So this is his current stats. I'm showcasing you the, the little things here and there, the weapon stuff, stat points, everything into strength right now. And for those who are still wondering how I got that costume that chroma costume right here the heroic one the cyberpunk outfit only the first 3000 people who cleared vulcan hard mode got that outfit only the first 3000 who cleared that mode if you are not under the first 3k you don't get that outfit and you will not get it because it's exclusive for just the first 3000 now here i'm just showing you all my skills where they are currently when it comes to like the rarity stuff maybe and here at the top you can also look at the blue icon like the blue number which is the skill level i pushed it to because for example here it says level 10 this is level 7 for example just giving you a rough idea so you can get an idea on uh, how my account progression looks like for the build itself for Jin Wu, i still have him on toughness beast i do like it a lot i still believe that a four piece toughness set is better than a four piece curse set in shorter battles the uh, crit damage and the damage increase are 
kind of similar and because they are kind of similar with short battles you benefit more from a toughness set because you get more damage at the beginning plus you have additional crit rate which boosts your damage overall oh also before i forget that they announced in the in the developers note that they will replace healing given increase this one here to mana recovery rate I am all in for that, thankfully, finally. But I think it will take till October till they actually implement it. But you know what? Mana recovery is so much better. It's a billion times better than healing given increase. As soon as we get mana recovery rate and depending on how good it is, yo, I want to have mana recovery rate at least at every single of my pieces. Not upgraded, but just to sit there and to accumulate with all eight pieces. So I get a big mana pull back while doing my fights because that could get me closer to my perfect Jin Wu build which I strive for which I will showcase in the future I have a very very specific build in my mind for a very very long time but currently because of the mana issue I cannot use that build right now but maybe this change give me the opportunity to actually use that build also I read in the death note some people think that the new sun extreme skill is way too strong or way stronger than all the other abilities I would say it is stronger than other skills of Jin Wu or most of the skills of Jin Wu but even though it is stronger, I do not feel like that it is anywhere where it should be. I feel like there is still a lot of damage missing. While it is better, in my opinion, it is not good enough yet. Also, guys, let me know um, in the comments. I'm curious, how good do you think is Sonic Extreme? Do you like the skill right now? Or do you feel like it's uh, too situational to use in the game? Or... Is it something you have always equipped depending on the element you are currently facing? The liberation system, which they teased a while back. And it's like a very, very long time past since they talked about that, which allows us to upgrade our SR weapons into SSR weapons. They teased it, but they didn't introduce it yet. And the only thing they said in the developer's note that players might be concerned because they salvaged all their SR weapons and cannot create those SSR weapons, which I feel like is kind of disingenuous because I think more people are asking about the fact when we will actually get that feature instead of your I uh salvaged all my stuff because we know about that feature for months now and if you kept salvaging your weapons even though this information was out for a very long time now i mean it's your own fault to be honest right and, and i think they just dodged the question really because i wonder what they will do with the liberation system moving forward right i hope we can craft like the kasaka weapon the stuff we saw also the uh light spear if we can craft that one as well i hope this feature will be implemented soon with the baron patch and they also with the new update the bond feature will go up to level 90 we can uh, level up all our hunters to level 90 they also plan on improving the power of destruction mode with the rewards they want to improve that and just a little bit of quality of life changes and what i'm very very curious about there's one specific thing they mentioned in the death note was for a more sensitive control of usage of the ultimate skill and power of destruction or guild boss content a new feature where hunters can manually control it in team fight mode will be added so does that mean while i control Jin Wu, do i get buttons for my other hunters where i can press that button to trigger the old skill because that would be actually huge because this would change the entire strategy as well when you want to trigger the old skill of your hunters and makes it even more technical to maximize your damage but this would change a lot of things when do you want to trigger your ult right this this changes a lot this changes a lot because you can do it not for only one person 
but for all three hunters and that is a very delicate situation to be in also they said they want to improve on the hunters association support chest which is very lackluster in my opinion right now anyway so i'm holding off using my hunter chest right now since they finally announced that bit this is the thing which i was waiting the entire time but it will now hold off and i recommend you guys also to hold off save that right now because once they change it you might get better rewards and last but not least i think the gems i have to show my gems my gems are kind of lackluster i have a couple of rank four not nothing too crazy just a couple for the yellow i only put precision in there because precision in my opinion is more important than crit damage, crit damage i can get from substats but precision i cannot get from substats that's why only that and for my purples i look for additional mp as much as i can for mirai and they're just defense attack yeah and also which could be interesting since we have these healing guys since they will replace uh healing given increase with mana recovery right it could be the case that maybe with the blue stuff we are getting mana recovery gems that would be insane because then i would just replace everything here for mana recovery but it could also be they just included here or replace the speed gem for mana recovery like speed gem is the worst this is legit the no the second worst after healing given increase but this is actually super bad because it literally does nothing for you and for the people who are wondering how this point event works how do you get your free copy of a1 gogun he you need these loyalty points so you need 1545 loyalty points those are this ones and you get them by doing the challenges here so the current one is the relic farming artifact farming challenge you just do your instance dungeons right you do your instance dungeons and then when you reach a certain benchmarks you get these loyalty points and there are i think four four or five challenges in total you will you want to collect them all right and once you collected them and reach that point you will get your free copy of gogon he so guys this sums up the account progression review of my account yeah i know i did not talk about every single detail while build a hunter a certain way or something but i feel like showing you my account and also talking about the new informations we got but it's so well together why not let me know in the comments down below how, how you like this type of style maybe just showing while also talking about different things that's it for today's videos guys thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like and a comment down below i really appreciate it and see you with the next one deuces